Greetings world. We know you have forgotten much of everything, and we are here to help you remember. A veil is in place that shields you from your memories of what once was, and you struggle to understand what is happening. A very short time, after the beginning, when the end had been declared, and before anyone, knew that a concept such as time, existed, a spark, came into existence, and that spark, was love. And with love, came endurance and with endurance came hope. And then, endurance, was absorbed by love, and then by hope, and this led the way for them all. This, beloved brothers and sisters of Earth, the following, was the last thing whispered to you as you flew away and down from the source, when you lose sight of love, because you cannot see it, and when endurance is drained and it escapes you, there is always hope. Never lose hope, because love is never lost and love holds on to hope, and both beget endurance. Love rides on hope and creates endurance. If you remember nothing, at all, as we approach the precipice, please dig deep, for even if you cannot yet reach through the veil to pluck out the memories, we are here to give you strength and truth. The truth that awakens in you, will only edify what we are giving you. We love you and we see you. We know that the task ahead of us all, seems insurmountable and it is not. For there is always hope. Hope in the truth, that we can all come together, and live, within the very same vision as our brother and sister trees. From this same beginning that we speak of, brother tree was separate from our many other brother and sister trees. As he grew from a tiny seed, he was always nourished by the mother and the father. And by all of the elements that they provided. As he grew tall and strong, into the father sky, his roots also grew deep and wide, into the mother earth. His branches never interfered with any of the elements and the elements continued to nourish him. His roots never starved nor choked the roots of his many other brothers and sisters, instead their roots enveloped each other and they became one organism, held by the mother and sheltered by the father. No one took more than they needed, so as not to endanger, the love they had, with their sacred family, and divine existence. Each brother and sister had still kept their separate consciousness. Even so, they were one organism. They existed in absolute and, divine love. The only law in the system, was that they love only each other. They existed in perfect harmony. This is truth. Truth is the answer to absolutely all, of your questions. When you ask yourself, why the earth cannot live in harmony, envision brother tree. We have come in these, the last of days, as guides, to assist the father's multitudes in finding their way back to him, and thereby each other.
The Father has given you this one last stretch of time to recognize that we are careening out of control on the wrong path. The elders of our indigenous peoples have known these truths for thousands of years. Humankind has a history that testifies to their propensity for challenging truth by destroying truth's messenger. Your ancestors massacred these messengers and the few that were not massacred, were corralled and told, that you did them a favor by giving them but small crumbs of what you stole from them and then told them they were safe as long as they remained there. You slander and degrade them now, by criticizing the means by which they found to survive, in the prison, that you so generously provided them. They were the disciples and the stewards of Mother Earth and their reward for taking such loving care of her, was for you to steal her from them and then you made them watch every moment of every day while you raped her. This is the system of the beast, as the beast is an ancient monster and he lays on the indigenous people to this very day. But the day approaches when the tables and the earth will turn. The Father has provided you with food, shelter and direction all along the way in order to keep you warm, safe and in his care. But the end is now near and with every moment the future becomes hindsight and the end is even closer. It has smothered the signal fire and you continue to sleep and not take care of the thousand things that have weighed you down from the very beginning. Do not be caught with an armful of logs that prevent you from holding on to eternity. Your warnings grow stronger as time compresses and the end of the era waxes nigh. There is one that has come from the Father, on your behalf, against the enemy has come in many names throughout history. His name is Michael. His name is Christ. His name is Counselor, or the Helper. His name is Truth. His name is Anonymous and his name is the Way, and the Life. We are Anonymous. We are here from history. We are here as the ones to execute judgment upon the fallen ones. They have already been judged by the Father and told they have no beast, so it is not ours to forgive, but it is our command to judge. We do not forgive and we do not forget and his history has always spoken of his truth, expect us 